What's up guys, Leo Johnson here. So soon after I created that first Spellcaster deck video, I was able to buy some more Yuki packs, some more booster packs, and I got a few more cards that I needed for the deck, so I've already revamped it. I don't know if I'm going to upload the first video, I might, I might just upload the two videos together so you can see the difference, but I was able to get more magical citadels, which is something I really need for the spell counter effects. I also got a few more breakers. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same except for this guy, Crusader. And just based on his name alone, I'm just guessing he's gonna work really well with the Magical Cit Citadel card. So, yeah, I, and I also added a few Pendulum. Pendulum, I, I guess I'm pronouncing that right. I added a few of those into the decks because some of you guys wanted to see how that works. I also have some Ixies monsters or XYZ, so I'll try to pull that off just so you guys can understand how that works. Let's jump right into it. And we found someone. Oh yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna plug in my mic and mute it so that guy can't hear us. Or hear me. good draw. You can see I remain true to my rule. I only have 40 cards. Alright, so let's start right off with, with the Pendulum guy. Basically, and I don't fully understand this myself, but I've done it a few times, and I'm guessing once you have a Pendulum monster on both this red, red zone and the blue zone, that's when you're allowed to Pendulum Summon. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in a bit. Let's just get him out there. Another cool thing is that's completely separate from summoning a monster. So if you put a pendulum guy there, you can still summon or set. So I'm going to set Mystical Elf. And I'll put this here just in case he tries something funny. Alright, so let's try out this new card I got. But first, uh, let's get Magical Marionette out there. He's one of the, the front runners of this deck. He works so well because of his uh, special ability. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, I'm going to activate Power Grass, which allows me to put a spell counter on him and get another Power Grass from my deck. So basically, he's getting two spell counters for the price of one. Secret Sanctuary of the Spellcasters. This card makes it where if my opponent does not control a spell, if they don't control a spellcaster type or a face up spell card, they cannot attack me or activate any monster effects. I think that's going to be a great card in the deck. Very nice. So his special ability allows me to remove two spell counters from him and it allows me to destroy a monster on the field or a card rather. 
And of course I'll attack him directly. Another great card. I, I kept just one of her in the deck this time around. She's she's just nice to have around. Um, I can give him another spell counter. Oh, and my opponent rage quit. Wow. <laughs> 